How's it going everybody? This is the Erroneous One, coming to you with a brand new Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key uh, video. Today we're going to be taking on the Mog Part 3 quest, which is the Magic Quest. Um, I'm right here in this screen here because I'm going to change up my setup for it. Uh, this is what I was planning on going in there with um, initially right here. Um, I am going to switch out the bell though um, with my Illustrator Riku. Because uh, he seems to be the best one in terms of my uh, AoE um, speed right now to up my tav and my allies tav. I am going to be uh, walking in here with again, with Kuglet right there. Um, with uh, my Rax medal right there. Um, both of us have APP on them. Rax is fully chip and dailed. Attack boost 2 on my Illustrator Riku. He's fully chipped. Um, my tab metal, attack boost 2 on him. Um, fully chip and dale, or yeah, fully chip and dale on that one. And then my newly um, started worked on um, Zigbar. Um, Zigbar does have attack boost 2 on him right now. Um, he's only guilty at 66%, unfortunately. So I guess it's not too terrible considering uh, my first guilt roll on him put me right at the lowest increment of 40. <laughs> so we've he's gotten up a bit since then. And I just started getting him um, Chip and Daled. Uh, so later on in the weekend, as we're doing the raid battles, um, hopefully I can finish getting him Chip and Daled so he'll do more. But we're going to go with him as he is because he's neutral damage and AoE. So I'm hoping he'll do well for me. Um, if not, I might switch him out with uh, Sephiroth because he is fully Chip and Daled. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into this real fast. With that setup, I will be borrowing my um, uh, allies um, tab metal that usually shows up for me. Hopefully, it will again. So that's what we'll be uh, running. Let's go get them real quick. Okay, that should work out a little better. You have to apologize for the silence right there slightly. Um, I've noticed that in some of my videos, the animation screens there for the gummy copters cause lag for some reason. I don't know why, but it does. Um, I noticed I am at 13 gauge, but I think I'm going to be okay with the two APPs going in here. Ooh, wayward wardrobe, but 180. All right. Hopefully I'll go off and get me some of it back. There we go. That's better. That was a lot better. Um, just tap there and tap and go off real quick. Oh, I'll be fine. Yeah, this be this will be easy. The tap. There we go. So already we're almost back at full gauge. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm not gonna waste Puglet here. Um, I will utilize Tav though. Um, swiping here, and Tav. And swipe, there we go. A dark plant right here. Uh, I will use Puglet this time for this guy. Um, tap. Alright, there we go. Okay, so so far we're doing pretty well. Um we haven't really encountered too many enemies so far, so that's a good thing for the video. Oh, that's our first pester jester. What are you gonna give me? Okay, he lowered my power attack by 2 and my magic attack by 2. So that's going to be fine. The Wicked Wardrobe is a level 190. So... Alright, this time I will use Riku. Alright, now for Tav. Alright, this is going really well so far. I haven't really had to break out anything too big. And I still have two chests. Um, one right there and then one back in the other screen to fall back on in case I need to go uh, hard as possible. Two high wizards. Okay. Two hundreds. Um, 
that one. I think I'll be okay this time. Just swiping here, and Tav will go off. Alright. That went well. That went very well. Okay, so who's over here now? Pester Jester, what are you gonna give me? Okay, level 220 high wizard. Ooh, I'm paralyzed. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, um Hopefully this won't impact me too much. I am gonna use everything right now on the off chance that something doesn't go off. Alright. Didn't proc, but that's okay. Um. Okay. Alright, what does Zigbar do against 220? 16 damage, 16k in damage. Um. That was. That was pretty good for Zigbar. He's not even fully chip and delved, and he, um. Is not a. a good guilt, exactly. He did pretty good there. That, that was. That was really good. Okay, um, gonna be counter. What do we have? Magic defense times two, power defense times two. Okay. So, Poo AP went off. Get Brock. Better. Um, no proc there. Alright, it's gonna depend on Zigbar what he does damage wise now, and he needs a proc. No proc. Ah, yeah, I'm gonna get him turn, unfortunately. That close. Okay. So I didn't get any of the objectives, um, unfortunately, for this one. It looks like I'm going to change out my Illustrator Riku for my KH2 Riku, who I think right now is my single strongest um, single target hitter. Which kind of makes sense, because if I hadn't had um, Zaldan in the previous one as a single target, I wouldn't have gotten past that one. So that that's not too much of a surprise for me. I'm not sure about Zigbar just yet. He did really well for me there. He did some really good damage um, there for the most part. But um, if he didn't proc, he was dealing um, only 12k uh, in damage. Uh, I need a bit more than that out of him. But... But Sephiroth. So, you know. So... I think a Koopa leaves. That's cool. Play the objective. That's interesting. This will be a slightly longer video. I am going to do this one more time. So I'm going to do this one more time uh, on this video real quick. Because I think we can do that. I mean, hopefully we can do that. But putting Cage 2 Riku right there. And, you know... I am going to try Saffir out there and see if he does a bit more. Um, and we'll see. Because at his strongest, he did 16k in damage. If Sephiroth can deal about 3k per hit at least, 
that's gonna be 30,000, which would be more than what Zigbar was doing for me right there with the attack boost, the attack boost 2 on and um, the general 3 um, buff, uh, strength up buff on him. So, so we'll go, we'll go in with that real quick. Alright, hopefully we'll get lucky with our setup again in terms of the enemies approaching, which it looks like we will, so that's good. Um, it's a 180, yeah, we will have Kula go off, and Rax. Swipe there. Rax goes off. Swipe here. And swipe. Alright. Alright. I am gonna have Rika go off. Not bad. 65k a, pit, a hit against a level 200. Okay. Alright, so lowered my strength and my magic again. That's not too terrible again. That lack of APP there, however, was a problem. Okay, let's see what Sephiroth can do for me. I think he's fine. Yeah, so Sephiroth was dealing um, a bit more damage overall than um, Zigbar was, so he's a better option for this, it seems. I'm almost at full. Yeah, I'll be fine, I think. I'll be fine. Alright, so so far this is an identical run as my previous one, which is good and bad. Um, my only hope is that if I run into that pester gesture again, it won't paralyze me. <laughs> Alright, no... Wipe. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so there he is again. Oh, it's the two fifty five one. Rats. Alright, let's hope we can proc here. Oof. Not at all. No proc in there at all. Oh, there, right there. Gonna live. Nope. Alright, 255. <sighs> no, I'm not gonna waste my time on that.
So... Okay, so, again, that's going to be what's going to be. I'm going to have to... I think that setup I have right now with Sephiroth and KH2 Riku is better off overall um, than having Zigbar there at the end. So, I'm going to keep it that one. Um, I'm just going to have to take them up um, one at a time, like each objective at a time, because uh, these are, for me, like I said, I don't have um, really good gilded premiums right now. Uh, all ones I have are Tav, and he's only at 83%, and I have um, Behemoth, and he's only like 68%. So I got some not-so-good guilt rolls on those ones. So I'm going to tinker with it. I still think that one can work out um, pretty well. Uh, I just, like I said, I need to take out the uh, objectives one at a time. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to go through and do that later on. But that's an idea of what it's going to be like. Um, at least I passed it the first time, so I did get some Koopa leaves. So I should be able to increase my mod a little bit. Yes, I can. So let's go and do that real quick. How far can we take it? That's as far as we can go right now. So I need a Koopa Blossom, which is going to be the next one. So, there we go. It won't be too hard. I'll come back pretty soon again with another attempt of that one um, and see if we can get past that. But that's what it is. Um... I wish you guys the best of luck in these challenges, because they are challenging, and if these are anything like what the Pride uh, challenges are going to be like, or the Proud challenges are going to be like, uh, come January, whoa, <laughs> better get some uh, get some Gilded Premiums there pretty quick, because we're going to need them. Uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, take care.